See this face? This is the face of a man who hasn't slept. A man who doesn't sleep. A man who seeks but does not see. A man who is but isn't. A man who is there but also not there at the same time. Always and forever. In your name, we pray. Rolling action, action, action. We're here. Um, and we are live, sort of, kind of, perhaps, um, perhaps. in another installment of uh, Live at Jerry's with the esteemed, affluent Archibald Duke Lewis of, where are you from, Lewis? Uh, San Jose. San Jose. California. California. The great. The east side. The great state yeah. of the of the Californias. Californias. Alto California. Where Cesar Chavez actually walked through. Yeah, Cesar Chavez walked through that thing. Mm -hmm. And what and you know, where would we be without him? Right? Walking uh what how many miles from LA to San Jose? I don't know how many miles that is walking. You know what I'm saying? Farm workers, bro. That's a lot. I'm yeah. pretty sure they have blisters on their on their toes. That's what I'm saying, man. Okay, what's your let's see uh, your mean face. That's a that's a devilish this face, you know, got the this face. And you're, uh, yeah, you're, you, you got a little bit of the devil in you. You ever nah. think about that? No, not even a little bit. Not a little bit. So you're, you're a Jesus man. Yeah. You're tell, tell me, give me some, give me some help, man. I, I need a. You already got help. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. And what? But what if I want more help? What if you never have enough? You never. Is know. that my fault? It's not your fault. You just have to keep, you know, keep being you. Keep being me mm -hmm. through the eyes of God. Satan. God. God. Because God, God will love you anyways at the end of the day. You fuck around, you fuck up. He'll no matter still, what. He'll still accept you. Wow. Yeah. That, well, that'll help me sleep, I yeah, think. Man. Hopefully. You'll be good, man. Mm -hmm. everybody, everybody sins every day, you know? Everybody. Everybody. Everybody sins every day, yeah. so you might as well just keep sinning every day. Every day, and then just at the end of the day, God, God will see what you did right and what you did wrong. Yeah, you're not going to go to hell. Yeah. That's a good age. That's uh You only cool go to hell to if you want to. What was that? You only go to hell if you want to. Damn. So everyone that goes to hell, they want to be there. They want to go to hell. That's why they go to hell. Mhm. Mm that's a that's an interesting per perception there. It's that's how I see it. Perspective? Because Yeah. Because if you really don't want to go to hell, you just don't. Yeah. Say, hey, man, I'm not trying to go over there. Yeah. Fuck that. Let me go up there. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah, cool. Man. So, like, uh, you have visions of heaven? Um, one time. You had a vision? Not a vision, but I seen the light. That's it. Okay. Yeah. And just very shiny? Shiny, bright. Very bright. Yeah. What happened? Um, I, saw, I saw some hands. And a lot of I hands. Just, and I just felt um, just one, just two hands of uh, Jesus. It looked like Jesus. I okay. saw the light, and then um, they just pushed me back into to earth. He had a beard? He didn't have no beard. I couldn't see his face. Oh, okay. Just like yeah, a silhouette. Just like a white white gown with, with hands coming out. Okay. So for those yeah. of the viewers at home, Jesus has a lot of hands. No, he's not a lot of hands. Just two hands. Okay. Well, he's, he's there, but there are hands when you first enter yeah, the yeah. kingdom. Yeah, well, that's how I saw it, but, you know, I don't know how. And he has a gown. Is. Yeah. Um, and which light, is light coming out of, like, light coming behind him. No out. gender. I don't know. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's my yeah. point. Yeah. Remember that. Um, cool, man. Yeah, uh, man. It's crazy times that time. Crazy times. We're living in crazy times. Yeah. Right now, yeah. What's the craziest thing you're, you're timing right now? Mm. Shit, I don't even know right now. Crazy, crazy times are crazy? Yeah, man. For me? You were saying something about Hawaii earlier. Oh, that, that's, see, that's everybody else, but you're telling me me. Okay, well, nothing, yeah. I don't have nothing going crazy around me. It's just, you're just living your life. Living my life, working, I'll take care of my son. Representing the Bay family. Area. Representing the Bay Area, go A's. Good tidings, good blessings, man. Yeah. Ah. Stay blessed, Hawaii. We love you. See you soon. 
Just get those uh, airplane flights cheaper. Yeah. Maybe this... Man, what if everything was just cheaper? I don't know. What if everything was free? Right. Wouldn't that be great? It would be great, but, you know, it'd be, uh, it'd be crazy. It'd be you know, a little everybody, crazy. Everybody would be shooting everybody, you know, going fights and stuff like that. You think so? I think so. I don't know, man. It would be like Texas, you know? You know, you have the right to to uh, to arms. You could. Or you could just, like... What if, like, all the billionaires in the world were just like, hey, here's here's a little... Here's a little extra. Well, Jeff you Bezos know. can give one, uh, one million dollars to each person in the whole world, and he'll still have a lot of money left over. Yeah. Imagine if him, Elon Musk, Bill Gates—they all did that. We'll have like three million dollars for each person right now. That'd be crazy. More craziness after this with our guest. Don't go away. Thank you. Did you get a good shots of that? TG Boxing. Building champions for life. And we're here at TG Boxing with Live at Jerry's on site promoting a promotional promotion for Rudy Garcia, an undefeated fighter who will have a title fight later this month, who I will be sparring with. So it uh, separates the, the boys from the men. Boys from the men. I just feel like, like, Everyone's good, but I'm the best. That's right. You're a killer. You kill things, okay? You're, hey, hey don't, don't look at me like that when I'm talking to you. All right, let's take a break. Let's take a break. Let's take a break, yeah. Hard work, dedication. Hard work, What's dedication. the other thing, coach? Uh, and a drink here and there. And a, and a drink and a drink here and there. All right, time, time, time. Time, I need some time. All right, we're, we're timing, <laughs> timing. All right, stop, 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 stop. Thanks, coach. My ankle, my ankle. Can't, I can't right. do that. I'm, I'm, I'm holding my own in there. I'm holding my own in there. You own what? My own, my own something. All right, we're we're here. Uh, we just just got some some good work in. Uh, uh, this is what this is what warriors do, you know. Especially a warrior, being in there with a warrior like myself um, is just uh, it's a lot. You got me in the nose and in the cheek and in the throat and in the eye, but um, but I just feel like spirit wise, I got you. I got you on spirit, you know. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but I'm glad I, you know I can help you uh, prepare for this fight. You have a you have a title fight coming up. Yeah, it's the WBA International. Yeah. Yeah, the WBA International title, and you're undefeated, right? As uh, 13 and 0. 13 and 0. Yep. How, how's the camping going? How's uh, how are you feeling? The camp's been going pretty good. Um, um, I've been working harder than ever, to be honest. So, yeah. I'm pretty good. Yeah. I mean, uh, I go up there and it's like every the whole world disappears, you know. It's just me and that fucker, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I basically is what was going through my head, you know. Yeah. About to beat his ass, about to take his lunch money, everything, you know. I'm going to strip him from everything he got. Yeah. That's basically what goes through my head. September 15th in Texas. Texas, yep. Do, uh, do we know who you're fighting? Yeah, Mirko Cuello. Mirko Cuello uh, will be losing to Rudy Garcia Jr.? Yes, I approve. Uh, el, el tiburón? El tiburón. There you go. Yeah, yep. Ready to eat you like uh, the great white that he is. Or the great brown because you are Mexican. Yes, yeah. But, you know, there's uh, great whites in Mexico too. So, yeah, yeah, there, there you go. go. Yeah. There you go. A great white Mexican. There you go. That's uh, Rudy Garcia for you. <laughs> Thank you, yep. <laughs> <laughs> the sharky, baby. The sharky. sharky. Uh, el tiburón. Uh, you, you, there's a lot, man. There's a lot to the fight game, man. There's the, the whole me the mental war, the physical, the training, the cutting weight. Uh, I mean, you pretty much have to be on, like, all the time. Right. You gotta, yeah, you got to basically, you know, it's like, you know, no no sex, no nothing, you know. Yeah, I've been, what, two months, two months and a half. So if you're... Damn, you're doing that warrior shit? That fucking, oh, like, yeah. Greek fucking 300 shit yeah, where you're, yeah, not, yeah. you're not fucking? Nope, none of that. <laughs> you do whatever you identify as, you know, you know, be celibate from that, you know, because it'll be mentally, you know, mentally prepare you. Yeah. So, yeah. You heard it here first, man. 
Live with Jerry's, don't have sex. Uh, best of luck with you to your fight. Um, knock them dead. Fucking, uh, I look forward to seeing you back with the title. And another great sparring session in the future. I know that the door's always open. Of course, always. I'm always looking for, uh, you know, people to beat up on, so. All right. Well, <laughs> I'll take it. I mean, you know, he says beat up. I say, you know, uh, talent. There's a talent to getting beat up, all right? There's a talent there. Just think about that. Somebody, Think about that. Somebody said once, uh, you got you to gotta learn how to get beat up. So, you know, it's, it's true. And we're back. Um, and uh, Lewis has uh, something to say to us about our sponsor yeah. for today's episode. So we're sponsored by, by Duct Tape, tape Beers. Come get your Duct Tape Beers. Shout out. Thank you. And with that, um, I think we're ready for our guest. Uh, our guest tonight, uh, today, uh, right, right now, uh, is a special artiste, uh, a music producer, designer, ruler of the Roaverse. Give it up uh, for Roa, Woo! everybody. Roa. Roa. What's poppin'? A um, lot of things. A lot of things <laughs> in the atmospheric world. Balloons. Balloons pop. Yeah. Um, do you like human biologics? Human biologics? Other? What is it? Non-human. Non-human biologics. Yeah, they're out there. That's what the Supreme Court recently said, right? Yeah. Or the the judge, <laughs> or what rule? What? Who are those people? I well, don't even know. Yeah, I just kind of lump it all together. Yeah. <laughs> they know stuff about our rights. And Reptilians. Rep yeah. Reptiles. They're reptiles. Mm -hmm. They're probably non-human biologics yeah. as well. Right, as well, as well, <laughs> and we're ruled by them. Yeah. And we have to appreciate them. Yeah. We got to love them. Uh, they're, they're keeping us alive to a certain degree, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Let's be friends. Yeah. You know? You're a reptile. Let me be your friend. You know what I mean? Maybe. I like You're reptiles. an alien. I like reptiles. I like aliens. Reptiles, aliens, Bigfoots. Yeah. Someone told me that the Greeks, they just took everything from ancient Egypt. Mm. I don't know. Well, that's kind of like most religions are just kind of like yeah, different stealing. iterations of like the same story. The it's same like a lot of story. Christian holidays are based off of pagan holidays. Right. Actually. That's why we love them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas. Christmas. Christmas, Christmas used to be Saturnalia in the pagan tradition. Ooh, what is it called? Saturnalia? Saturnalia. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a disease. It was like a 10 day like festival of gift giving gift giving and intercourse yeah that's what i heard yeah the pagans were like a little crazy that's why they yeah. were like let's uh let's make this a santa thing yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah let's uh let's create a guy with a white beard he doesn't have intercourse he just eats cookies <laughs> and this kid slip sit on his lap yeah, yeah. that's weird <laughs> Jesus. I mean, if you want to look at it that way i mean you could look at it as like wholesome oh no it's like a wholesome thing <laughs> all right, all right. I guess we can, you know. We, we, on they a could, lighter note. <laughs> on a lighter note. Um, we have a father in, in the room. Nice, he's, he's nice, a dad. Nice, nice. So mm -hmm. you're not taking your kid to the mall to sit on Santa? No, not even Disneyland. I know nothing like that. Mm. Nothing. What did no. Disney ever do to you? Shh, there's some crazy shit around there, man. You they've, think been so? they've been accused of uh, other employees, uh, you know, being. Uh, Pedophiles. Jesus Christ, Dang. man. We're really going to go there on this episode? Hey, you asked me about Disneyland. I mean, <laughs> just, <laughs> you asked me about Disneyland. But it's just like, it's, who knows? Who knows how much of it is I'm real? I'm giving you the, if the root of the ground right there. Where are you there. getting your information? It's out there on the news. They, uh, they arrested the guy from Florida about that. Uh, yeah. Floridians. 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 Greshens. Right. Bath salts over there. Bath salts. Um, uh, Those Florida uh, men. Yeah, deities. Florida men. Some, somebody in Florida just won like the Mega Million yeah, lottery. Damn. It's how much, terrifying. How actually. much is that? I think it was like, I, I don't know, but my friend told me to buy a ticket. I was like, okay, for sure. I know. People always tell and me to she do was that. Like, she was like, oh, somebody in Florida won. It was like, Florida man, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, you know, I don't. <laughs> They say that most people like lose their mind when they like win big. Like yeah, that. I heard something that like your it's like a curse. Your mm -hmm. life expectancy like drops like whoa a shit. Ton. Once you win the lot, like of all the people that have people, won the lottery, yeah, just don't have self control. Well, you know, so a lot of do. them are people that are just degenerate 
gamblers or or just like I don't know how, who wins those things. You know, people that are like really know. believe that oh I'm gonna come up with the right numbers and yeah. then they do. And yeah. then you're like, fuck, you know, like they're probably eating fucking TV dinners and like, I don't know, like. Yeah, just like the most random. Random people. shit. And then, you know, two years yeah. they're, you know, they're in a hearse. Yeah. Hey, you know, it's good for the strippers, though. So God bless yeah, them. Hey, for sure, dude. <laughs> There's nothing. I can't imagine what it must feel like to have the money to just like fill up an entire room with like ones of all these uh, beautiful women around you. Sounds you amazing. Know? I, and you know what I mean? Like, it's not even about the <laughs> thrill of it. I think it's just about the flex of it all. Yeah. Like, there would be something about, like, wow, I can do this, and, like, I'm fine financially. Yeah. Like, it doesn't you know matter. What I mean? doesn't hey, matter. Hey, buddy, here, have a thousand dollars. Have ten K. Here, do it yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would just, you know what I mean? I don't know. Something totally. about that. Magic City on a Monday. But most, like, super rich people aren't just, like, handing out money. Like how you guys are saying, like, Jeff Bezos. Like, right. He's not going to just, like, do hand out money. Yeah, or just like people that are like mega millionaires, they're like yeah, they're like ah, fucking take it. Like you'll be fine, survive. Yeah, survive. Here you go. Have a <laughs> have a chopped cheese on me. You know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah, rich people. Yeah, that's are crazy. Kind of weird, for sure. Yeah, it must be crazy to be a celebrity. Even like celebrities, like they're rich, but they're not as like that rich. If you really think about, it. they're not Bezos or, I mean, I mean some yeah, of them are. Totally. Right? Like, maybe, like, a handful, like Magic Johnson or, you know, yeah. Michael Jordan. or but Probably like, mostly people that, like, came up, like, yeah, in, like, the 80s or 90s. When sure. You could still, like, sell records and make, like, millions and millions of dollars or, mm -hmm. yeah, have big box office, um, like, movie deals and stuff like that. But yeah. now it's, like, everything's streamed, so yeah. nobody's AI. really making any money any money anymore right so. right right ai is taking over everything that's why there's the strikes happening yeah ai is probably scraping this interview right now. yeah scra right now scraping there's it. a black mirror episode apparently that about that yeah the new season yeah i heard yeah it's, it's like oh you signed away your terms and conditions like no, yeah so they can we just have this super computer that just like recomposed this your person's life. life yeah yeah which is kind of scary because that could probably happen one day. For sure. Well, that's why the actors are striking because there was sure. this like AI initiative where they're like, oh, we have this groundbreaking thing mm. where like you could do background for a single day and then we'll just like supercompose you with AI and we can use your face and your body for like the rest of eternity. And the actors were like, what? Are you serious? Like, that's yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah. Dude. And like yeah. they have, they're essentially losing their rights. Like background to their actors don't make any money yeah. Like. right yeah, 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 yeah so it's one thing insane. that ai does do good though is when like they come out with like a spongebob or patrick rendition of like a drake song fire <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. fire or like a fucking you know mexican SpongeBob. song Sponge <laughs> yeah dude you ever i want to hear I really like ai in a lot of ways um i yeah. think it can be used um to progress humanity in a lot of forms but as a creative like i try to be wary of like how much of my creative um stuff i'm feeding into it um mm -hmm. and then there's also knowing that like eventually like ai is gonna scrape my stuff but um the government doesn't want to put too much restriction on the ai companies because um they're like in a race with china of like who's gonna be who's, more progressed who's gonna have the better ai yeah because it can scary. like really progress our civilization but um right now it's just kind of a hot mess but also i think people should start using it just be to keep up yeah with, i like, mean modern modern day a lot of funniness with with uh, the universe with uh, the metaverse but we're here to talk about the roaverse yes please uh talk talk to us Talk to me, talk to uh, our crowd here about the Roaverse. It's a it's a universe. Yeah. Where Roa is the is the ruler. Yeah. So I mean, you know, basically we live in this society where there's a lot of domineering factors. Like the rich are in control of stuff. The reptiles are in control of stuff. Um, sure. Men are in control of stuff. But I created my own universe where I can like kind of control things. So I worked with a. 3D artist and I conceptualized this realm that has a few different spaces within it and it's like this 3D interactive space so I just released a music video for my song Low Jewel and it's like a soaring perspective going through this realm that I have it's kind of like this surreal jungle 
ethereal like castle like zone that goes into um like a cave space at one point and it's all kind of just like in the in the stars in the atmosphere so it's kind of supposed to be like a different dimension it's like not even human earth relevant whatsoever so Dope. it's kind of like you know and especially like being a woman in like the music industry it's like okay sure. well there's so many things that are kind of like feels like working against me at some point so i was like why don't i just make my own universe <laughs> like yeah so i just started i just released like the um tour through the universe and then there's a page on my website where you can actually um go look around and like explore it and stuff and I'm going to, like, keep developing um, a storyline around the universe. And I'm, like, doing character development um, of these, like, nymph-like creatures that are living in that universe. Um, and I'm going to start working on a comic book this year. Wow. And I want to um, just keep developing the storyline and, like, have it be kind of like how, like, the gorillas have, like, their yeah. weird, like, surreal realm with their characters and stuff. Like, I was really inspired by them with this project and kind of have it be like this overarching theme for all my music releases and stuff so wow that's sick and your website is called for the viewers it's roamusings.com so it's like my same instagram handle mm. but dot com so okay sick roamusings.com yeah when i came across the 3d artists that i worked with for my thing because i didn't do all the 3d building um sure I would need to get like a really fancy computer for all of that, but yeah. um, or like Minecraft or something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's, I don't know. Uh, it's some nerdy shit, you know. Yeah, so yeah I, don't, I don't know anything about. Um, is that AI? Uh, well, Minecraft. No, so I no, mean, a lot of people have asked 3D. me like about my video, like, is this AI? Like, no, it, this was fully conceptualized by humans and created by humans. Um, Sick. Cool. Th I think it is an interesting time for three D artists, though, because AI is. Um, probably going to start having a lot more AI capabilities. And I think that um, 3D art is going to become a lot more accessible to just the average person where people are going to start being able to make their own 3D mm. renderings and spaces, um, like just from like their standard laptop or even eventually from their phone. Um, so I feel like it's going to really change really quickly. And there are some really cool artists that are making like 3D works, like visualizers using AI. Like um, my friend Austin and Orbseer, they have this studio called Seven Seer, and they're like using AI to make all these really cool visuals. So it's kind of everything's like changing really quickly. So it's, you know, it's scary for designers or like 3D artists and stuff. Because sure. you're like, well, oh, shit, my rate might go down or whatever. But, um, I think it's just good to evolve with the times because it's like we're not going to go back. <laughs> like AI is definitely here to stay. Yeah. yeah. And it's crazy. It's almost like what happened with music, too, because I, I remember even just like being in high school. Like, I don't know if you're a big Mac DeMarco guy, but I remember when when Viceroy came out and all these things. Part of his like allure was like, oh, this guy does everything himself. Like he has yeah. a, he has this, he has that. He records it in his bedroom. Like, and everyone totally. was like, what? And then like within a year, everybody was everyone doing was doing that. Yeah. And now that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. Same. <laughs> I'm like, dude. Now everybody just makes music in their bedroom totally. or at, at their house or totally. everything's just so like accessible. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, everyone's just a fuckers. consumer yeah. now. Just like, man, what do I, what do I consume? The most, or what I what do I like consuming the best? That's yeah. kind of what we all do. They need bit. money. Yeah. Every time I release a song, now I'm gonna be like, "This is it. This is the <laughs> last one." Yeah. You gotta buy it on Bandcamp. This is the last one, you guys. I use Bandcamp. <laughs> Yours, your, you. I guess you could consider your music a little niche, you know? Yeah, it's definitely pretty niche. That's cool though. Like people are like, "What even is this?" And I'm yeah, like, that, I don't do know, you hate that house, question? But um, like, how do you describe your music? I mean, I kind of say it's, like, kind of, like, alternative indie pop. But, it, you know, some of it right. sounds like house. Some of it sounds, like, more down. Like, my new so new song, Low Jewel, is, like, more down tempo. Some of it's kind of, like, bassy. Okay, sick. Um, adult contemporary sort of vibe. But I don't even know if that's the right. But it's really hard for me to market my music because it's so unique. Right. Yeah. It's its own thing. Yeah. But you never know. I mean, look at... Uh, you know how I really like Arca? Yeah. Her I, shit is like, I feel, I've never heard anything like that in my life. Yeah, she's she's badass. It's sure. crazy. Yeah. I love reggaeton. It's like 
so fun. And like that, she did that thing one year where she dropped like five albums, and every album was like a different kind of. One was like more reggaeton, another one was more like EDM, another one was more like yeah, she just pumps weird it out. Kind of, and all of her like three D videos and stuff are insane. Yeah, I, insane. I, I think that artist also worked with like Gaga and like some other Kanye. Um, that 3D artist. Oh, my bad. I thought you were talking about Arca. Have you seen any of Arca's, like, 3D videos? N- yeah, They're yeah. wild. Yeah, yeah, they are super wild. They're super wild. I have wow. to remember who that artist is, but, yeah, he kills it, for sure. How are we doing on time? Okay, great. Uh, I hope you enjoy this show. I hope you enjoy yourself, because if you don't enjoy yourself, who will? Who will? Do you Truth. enjoy, do you enjoy yourself? Rowan? Yeah, I think so. I think I do. That's good. Maybe like 80% of the time. 80%. There's always that 20, right? Yeah. It's always like, like an 80-20 who split. Who is this? Yeah. What like, the fuck am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. What totally. is that? Is this my life? What do yeah, I... Like, I have hands. What do oh I do with my, my hands? Oh, my God. Why Just beam me up right? already. Yeah. Non... What is it? Non... Non-human non, biologics. Non-human... I was going to say non-disclosured. Non-disclosed biologics. Non-disclosed biologicals. <laughs> um... And in, in, in the spirit of uh, non-human biologics, let's talk about nymph states. Yeah. Your nymph state. Yeah. You have a nymph state. The nymph is a fairy. Yeah, it's, it's like, like Tinkerbell. Yeah, it's kind of like in Greek mythology, it's like these beings that are kind of like tethered to things in nature. So dope. There would be like the nymphs of like the forest or the mountain and stuff. Um, and they got like little zapper. They got like they can zap you and shit. Or? Yeah, and they're kind of like they're like demigods. So okay, so they're, they're not, not like quite like gods. Zeus or anything, right. but um, but they're not they human. They kind of have this yeah non-human quality, and they're like they're kind of like connected to the like greater gods to the biologics yeah and they kind of like interact with like human earth a bit more so um i just always think of nymphs of these like creatures that are like kind of like dark and mysterious but they like spend their time just like frolicking like Mm -hmm. in a pond or something so my event series is called nymph state so it's kind of like the nymph state of mind and i like create events that are all about like getting creatives together and creating like a container where people can express themselves freely and get to know other people that are like-minded also network and stuff and just trying to create spaces that are unique and diverse where people can have a cool time and actually meet new people because I feel like a lot of times I'll go out and I'm just in a thumping warehouse room or something and I'm like okay well I didn't really meet anybody new or something right like, and I there's just a to, lot of doosh, doosh, yeah. doosh, doosh. for me like I like to go out and meet people and interact with other people in the crowd and stuff so a lot of my events will have more interactive qualities like my most recent one we I production designed like a whole DJ booth we had projection mapping it was a collaboration with like other really dope artists and then projection had, mapping, what is that? Yeah, so it's like when you take a projector, and um, I work with this guy, DMT Visuals, and he maps out the projector so Shout he can, out. like, hit certain shapes and areas. So we, like, projection mapped onto a circle, so it's, like, just the projector is hitting a circle, and then, like, these zones around it, too. So Whoa. it's kind of just, like, ups the projector production quality rather than just doing like a rectangle on a wall you know damn you kind of map out these areas to project onto um and then we had like a fashion show performances but also djs so it kind of like creates a flow of energy um where people interact and get to know each other and so i've been doing it for a while now and um have like a pretty good following around it it's just been super fun to do the oh that you, you just had an event on the 15th yeah, this last July 15th. And you've been doing that these events that you're talking about. Yeah, I was doing for a minute now. Yeah, throughout the year I was doing like uh, residencies at places like Generally's, Melody Lounge. Um, Shouts out to them. Other spaces. I did an event at Soho Warehouse, which was really cool. Um, I did an event at Hotel St. Vincent in New Orleans, so I'm starting to bring it to other cities too. But damn, this, bro, um, you've been active. The yeah. fuck Soho House? Like the yeah. Soho House? Like yeah, that shit? I, I did Soho House. White like, people love that place. In February. 
<laughs> it's you said white people. It's <laughs> white people. White people love that place. Man. Yeah, I mean, it looks popular. It's, 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 it's like cool it has that it? allure. It's like in, like invite only, membership only. Yeah, it's like you an don't, industry you don't place. Me? What? We don't we don't get invited. <laughs> we don't know. We're Mexican. Well, uh, <laughs> you have to be cool. Okay. You have to be cool. So when I did an to event, um, I could have all my friends RSVP, and it wasn't all white people in it. Okay, see? See, it has to be something like that. You <laughs> should invite us in. We can yeah, do interviews there. Yeah, I definitely will. Next, I didn't know you guys yeah. then, but yeah. Yeah. Right. hopefully no. they hire me for an event again because they pay right. really well. Damn, that's sick. So they yeah. hired you. We'll see if I can do it again. It would be it would be cool. That'd I might try cool. a different city though. So okay, cool. What are you looking at, like Atlanta? Um, Portland? I'm thinking about like Miami, New Rome. York. Yeah. I like Fort Lauderdale. You should go to Fort Lauderdale. Miami would be so, yeah. like wait for like uh yeah. for like Basel or something. Yeah, Basel is tight. I think I'm gonna go in September for Three Points Festival, and then yeah, mm. I want to like network and try to see if I can get some bookings for Basel because Basel's super fun um, yeah it's it a little blown up now but um yeah. luckily i have friends in miami i can stay with and stuff yeah because yeah. it's expensive over there yeah it's i know expensive. my friend was like hey guys my friend's looking for an efficiency apartment his minimum bu- or his maximum budget is or minimum budget is 2k and i was like what like that's, that's a lot gnarly for like an apartment that has no kitchen like mm-hmm. damn yeah it's kind of what roaches. la is like now though so <laughs> yeah it is everything is just getting more expensive more pricey yeah. um all right cool as uh, uh i guess furthermore w- how often okay i look at my likes a lot you ever do that uh yeah like on instagram and yeah stuff. i do that i'm not I, gonna lie i'm i'm it's addicting sometimes. I have an addiction to watching my story views. Me and too. Seeing I do the like same how many shit. of my crushes are or are not watching. Yeah. And I feel like it's like they should make a word for it because it's so addicting. It to is. To just be like, is my crush watching this right now? Right? right? Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I kind of do like that. People don't, they don't watch it, just delete them. Delete your crush. Just, no, delete delete the people that don't watch your, your story. Block yeah. all Block. of them. You're like, why do I follow you if you don't look at my shit? Well, but honestly, once I switched to business account, yeah. my story views went way lower. Yeah, it's like they see. like have some weird Vendetta. setting on it where they're like, okay, we're not going to give you this much exposure yeah. on your story so that you pay to boost your stuff. Yeah. Like, Instagram the, is evil like that. The shadow ban. Well, that's how they make yeah. their money, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These, these social media accounts or I businesses. I should have never gone to business. Damn. I hate you, Instagram. I hate should, you. Should we unbusiness our accounts? I have you it should. as I have it as government official. Mm. But I'm not, or am I? You kind of look, yeah. I have like the suit. A, a government official gone rogue. Maybe I'm just something. a spy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Are you? you? Ever think about that? <laughs> a non. Yeah. What is the word? Non-human biologic. Yeah. Non-human you biological. Just write it down because you keep yeah, forgetting. I know. He's probably, non-human he's biological he's spy. AI. He's AI. I'm running on like. I don't know, maybe like two hours of sleep. Damn, you should take a nap. I think I'm just going to drink a Yerba and then just, just... Just get cracked out. Just get cracked out. Fudge it, man. Fudge it. Sometimes you need days where you're, where you're cracked out and you, you go anyway. Yeah, right? totally. You know? That's going to be me tomorrow because I'm working the LA Book Fair at like 10.30 in the morning, but I'm supposed to be performing at this, this rave tonight. And they're like, get there at 1 a.m. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Shit, what have I done? <laughs> 1 a.m.? Yeah. Shit, I can't even do that. Wait, they, you got you to gotta get Well, I don't there. have a child, so, ah. you know. I can, <laughs> Wait, you I gotta can get do there. anything I want, right? actually. Right? <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, I can, but it's just like, you know, I have to work. Well, you, know? you don't want to be a bad father. Yeah. I wanted to be there for my son, but at the same time, I do want to get money. And yeah. you do want to get drunk. Yeah. There Basically. You, you can do it all. Yeah, yeah. you can do it all. It's just, you know, it's just time. Just time. Yeah. In time, you will get drunk and do what you want. <laughs> the wisdom. Just the wisdom of Lewis. To make your wife happy. That's it. Yeah. And yeah. get a wife first. Yeah. First, you need a wife to yeah. make her happy, right? Yeah. 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 Happy yeah. wife, happy life. Happy wife, happy life. Um, happy times, happy show. Mm-hmm. I wish I had some blow. No, I don't. Oh uh, no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> that, was, that just... That rhymed. I don't know. Your yeah. band mate it is. That's, uh, what's, what's in this cup? He might know. be Hunter Biden. He might be Hunter Biden. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all right. We really, we really uh, wrapped around the, all the sphericals of, uh, 
of conspiracy. Is there anything else you'd like to tell the, the crowd, the people out there? Um, Roa, the floor is yours. Yeah, I'd say just uh, follow me on uh, all the music streaming platforms. I have a lot of released music, and I'm going to be releasing a lot more in like the next coming years. So Beautiful. Stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned, everybody. And uh, I believe that that about does it with us here at uh, Live at Jerry Studios. Thank you Live all for watching. Jerry's, but we're not actually live. I appreciate you. And um, good night, good day. Whatever you call it. You can be in Japan. It'll be 5 p.m., you know. Tell them. <laughs> you can be in a different country. You can do whatever you want. So watch our show. Please. <laughs> we need it. We need and, it. And, um... Follow us on Patreon, you know, we need it, you know, um, yeah, our videos are on there, you know, subscribe. And you, you $3. Yep. Give us $3 a month. Yep. And follow Duct Tape Beer. Duct Tape Beer. We might get an Instagram account later on. Maybe. Maybe. You want to run that account? Yeah, maybe. Okay. All yeah. right. Let's do it. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. We love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ciao.